Hey guys, I feel like it's been forever since we did an actual like top down planner video, but um, as you see, I am back in my Outlander uh, wine for the holidays um, because I thought it would be nice and sort of thematic to go with the red because, um, well, you'll see all of the sort of dashboard covers and all that are sort of along a Christmassy theme, mostly sort of this uh, red plaid kind of idea. And I am just kind of excited to be embracing the holidays and sort of shifting into the new journal kind of gives me a little bit of a refreshed view on planning in general um, because things have been tricky uh, like with the pregnancy and all of that hormonally it's just been a lot of work to even get anything done so um, here's here's the setup right we've got the pocket size Chic Sparrow Outlander leather wine. Um, it's the deluxe, so it's got the pockets. And then I have just this little piece of uh, ribbon. This is some, sorry about the focus there. This is just some Christmassy ribbon that I had sitting in my sewing box. Um, so I, you know, cut a little bit of that and tied it in a little bow, just tied it into the, uh, the elastics in the spine here to give it a bit of a fle festive flair. I don't always decorate the outside of my journal, but I had a nice bit of ribbon, so there we go. Um, these scrapbook papers, and it's just a thin scrapbook paper, um, were on sale briefly at Joann's for like 17 cents a piece, so I actually have an extra piece of this, and I didn't really even realize until later how well this paper and this ribbon kind of match each other. It's like a mostly red with a little bit of green plaid. Um, I stuck a sticker here from Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna try to use some more of these stickers because I got them like uh, months ago uh, to get ready for, like I got them way back when I was setting up this insert. So that was like September getting ready for October and I got some Christmas stickers from Hobby Lobby to get ready for that. That's when I got these um, Christmas washi tapes as well so that everything would be festive. Um, so yeah, this is just a piece of scrapbook paper around my um, like long-term collections insert. So this one is the one that has my like calendars up through a certain amount of time and then other like long-term collections. Um, I'm not gonna show you this spread, but it's already up like how I created this spread. It's my Christmas countdown and slash uh, gift planning spread. I can't show it to you until after Christmas now because I've started to put some actual gifts on it. I'm starting to use it. So um, certain people who watch my videos are not allowed to know what they're getting for Christmas. So, so you won't get to see that until after Christmas, but uh, you will see last Thursday's video uh, at the end. I'll put that in the end screen um, showing how I created that so you'll get to see what it looks like empty. Um, I'm still using the same piece of acetate with the polka dots and the you know, gold foiling is very festive. And then these are the poinsettias, also just a normal piece of scrapbook paper. This is around my um, planning insert. I have that in here, number two, for a change. Um, this is the same insert I've been in since I started in here in October with the pocket size. Let's see, October went through, let's see, just about the middle, like right here, yeah. Like the first half uh, of the notebook. Like the first half is right here, that's all October. So I was like, great, I'll use the second half for November. Um, so I've got like a week, spread here and then some dailies, then some more dailies, another weekly, uh, more dailies, another weekly, weekly, dailies, and then like here's the end of November and I, I just, I haven't been using my dailies as much. I skipped most weekends in here and that's kind of why. Um, I just also wasn't checking in with it as often throughout the day. Um, this to-do list here, this daily, like it started as a Tuesday daily and then a Wednesday daily and then sort of just the rest of the week's daily and I never got around to titling it because I don't know what to call it at this point. Um, so then I decided, I don't know when actually I decided to not bother creating dailies for this, well no, okay, the 27th was Monday. And then, yeah, I guess it was whenever this happened and didn't happen that I decided to not try to create more dailies. I didn't need them for the weekend. So what I'm gonna try to do, because I still have some room, and really what it comes down to is it's the end of the year and I kind of would like to have sort of a fresh start with fresh notebooks for January. I'm trying to use up what I have 
in December. Um, so I'm trying to fit inside these last few pages in December. So what I'm doing is instead of having a full weekly spread where I have to do's on this side and then videos here where I'm like, okay, this video I have like six steps, this video has six steps, and then I've got a tracker up here. But this week I have the tracker things up at the top, then the videos here, uh, the ones with the dates here, no spoiler, you'll see what's coming up, um, sort of. <laughs> Uh, and so I'm just kind of putting like, okay, I'm working on this video. Like here I am filming some of my December setup. I'm filming it on Monday. So there, I've worked on it and I'm trusting myself to know what steps go into it, uh, just to kind of consolidate and fit things. If I do end up needing more space than this, then I will go over to another page. That's fine. I can always find more space somewhere else. But, um, if I stick with like one page per week, then I'll have plenty of room, you know, one, two, three, four, and then I have an extra three pages here for something else. So, you know, or for more weekly stuff. But basically I'm sticking to only the weekly and I'm still using my Alistair columns. So I'm going through today, Monday, and I'm, you know, I started on this project and I did this. Um, and I did, I started on that. I did some of that. So yeah, instead of like writing those on a daily, I'm just putting everything on the weekly. That does make my weeklies a little bit longer because certain things that would take me, um, that like I only do once during the week and not again, I might just write on a daily instead of in a weekly. Um, but in this case, I have to write it here so that I have somewhere to check it off. Either that or just remember to do it. Um, I'm also gonna try just for the sake of saving space um, like I have a couple things here, like on Monday, I had to tell my manager about jury duty. So I did that. Um, and I didn't write it down anywhere to check off. So there's not a lot of those things here, but I might sort of try to do that. Um, just as have a place for a reminder for things. Anyway, that's the structural part of this December setup is that I'm trying out only using weeklies and not dailies. I will definitely be going back to using dailies. Hopefully when, um, by the time January hits, I'll be in the second trimester and we'll hopefully have more energy to do things and maybe feel more like planning my days a little bit more. But um, for now, I think I'm gonna stick with this for a little bit, see what I think, um, and just kind of keep things tight and few, use fewer pages. Um, kind of, I feel like my system, like overall has gotten a bit too expansive to where I'm using too many different, I'm hopping from different places in my planner throughout the day. And it's feeling a little bit overwhelming on days when I don't feel like sitting in my journal for, you know, 30 minutes at the beginning of the day to, to get everything set up, you know what I mean? Um, so I might try to consolidate that down again with January. Anyway, that's, that's what's up. Oh, I didn't mention the tabs yet. Let me show you the tabs. I love these. All right, so these are the same uh, post-it tabs that I've been using courtesy of Carrie Harling's video where she talks about how to make these. Uh, it's awesome. Um, with this month, instead of using normal sticker paper, like I normally just use white Avery labels, like the eight and a half by 11 Avery sheet. Um, this time I went with the translucent ones. And so they're actually kind of see-through and I don't know if it really even matters. You probably can't really see through them that much anyway, but, um, yeah, I printed out these little black icons. These all came from a website called The Noun Project. Um, and most of these are like Creative Commons, so you can use them. I will um, give a list below in the description box of all of the creators who created these created, Creative Commons, little, little mouthful. All of the creators who made these icons, I think maybe one or two of these was just royalty free, so I didn't have a name on them, but the rest of them are, uh, yeah, with the below just a list of their names and you want to go to the nounproject.com it's pretty cool you can search for like anything i searched for calendar i searched for hogwarts and i even got this so i have a nice little hogwarts logo for uh for my my hogwarts lists little chores little you know this this one means project to me i don't know if you can tell and then there's the youtube logo which is pretty cool i think it's a it's not exactly the youtube logo but it's close enough so these are fun and they're small and they, yeah, they all fit along the top and that's pretty cool and I'm enjoying them. Uh, let's see, the next insert. 
Oh yeah, these first two, by the way, are on a rubber band on the first string. The next, I have the same dashboard. Uh, I linked it in last month's setup, my November setup. Eh, I could try to find that again. Or you can look at my November setup to find the link to this dashboard cover. It was from an Etsy shop. Um, it's actually around, it, it kind of has like a flat back to it. So it fits really nicely around the middle two strings where they're like coming out of the same hole. So I actually in here have the Annie Plans printables. These are the pregnancy planner set. Like the first one is has different like spreads and stuff for pregnancy planning and the back one is just blank note paper. And so I've been using it for certain things like questions to ask the doctor or things I'm not supposed to eat, stuff like that. Um, I'm going to be doing a video eventually coming up in the next couple of months. Um, I'm not sure when, but it is on my list to do a review of these because I think they might be fairly new and um, I have some thoughts about them. I've just started sort of using them the last month or so, um, mostly using like my appointment tracker, which I'm realizing I probably shouldn't show you, and the, um, the weekly sort of check-in where you sort of list like the things that you're craving and the things that you're um, suffering through different, you know, symptoms and stuff like that. And how big the baby is, which just makes you feel hungry or nauseous, depending on where you are in your trimester. So that's fun. Um, I, uh, this is the same paper here, same. Oh no, this is a paper that I used in my October setup. Um, also still from Joann's though. And then my sticky notes here from Mochi Things which are just handy to have. And then in the back a string, is that right? Yeah, so that was the two middle strings. And then string number four has, um, again, same scrapbook paper and the same piece of vellum that has been in here since October. Um, this is the uh, short-term collection slash project planning insert. So I've got, you know, the flip through a little bit and you'll recognize this if you've been following along. Project lists and then project pages are all in here, different things that I'm working on. And then um, from the middle back is where I have like my YouTube ideas and, or my YouTube schedule, some stats, wish list, broad tracker, movies to watch, stuff like that. Um, and then I have sort of some sticky notes here with some spreads that I mean to make but haven't yet. And then this is an overflow of my YouTube schedule. So yeah, there's some things here, like we want to plant a garden when we have our new house. And so these are some of the things we'd like to plant. And so I want to fill out some of these other bits of information, like when we should plant it and when we should harvest it and what notes we need to take about them, stuff like that. Um, list of video ideas, because that ran out in the front of space. And then stuff to do once we move into the new house. A list of recipes, because I'm going to be cooking a lot more once I have my own kitchen. And then, yeah, lists of things to research uh, when, once all of the craziness of moving is over with, then I think I'll be able to sort of dedicate myself to more research stuff about, you know, having an infant in the house and stuff like that. Also, I want to do a lot of sewing, but I need a space to set up my sewing machine in before I can do that. And then here's where I'm going to be doing just brain dumping on the notes tab. I have some other notes here that I took for a talk I gave at a retreat just this last weekend. So basically what you'll notice is that I used to have a, an insert in the back dedicated just to the notes and sort of scratch paper and stuff. Uh, since I only have one more month to go, I figured I would combine that, stick it in here just with whatever pages are left in the back of this notebook. And there's actually, I'm running low, not low, but like I have torn out a couple pages out of the back here. So I actually, yeah, I am kind of running short. So that's great. So there should be hopefully just enough space for the rest of December, for the rest of the year. And then I got some new field notes and some of the like designer designs, <laughs> that doesn't make sense, um, for January and everything will be pretty with those fresh notebooks. Everything will be set up uh, spring and spring for the new year with some things, you know, modified that I've decided can be modified. Um, I think finally the only new thing, new spread I want to show you. I had fun with this lettering. Um, this white pen is the Unibal Signo and this like design of like 
white lines and dots uh, I stole blatantly from Tiny Ray of Sunshine. She does a lot of stuff like this with her um, Uniball Sig note she loves and it looks really cool so I thought I would have fun with that and my husband thought it looked like I had like cut the letters out of washi tape or something so I don't know I was pretty happy with how that turned out and I just freehanded the uh, the brush lettering. The November vi or the sorry the Thanksgiving video I put out uh, really gave me a lot of confidence in my brush lettering abilities actually I just need to practice more I think. Anyway this spread is um, sort of a, a redux of last year's version of the same thing where I list all of the Christmas movies that I would like to watch by the end of Christmas, I guess, by the early January. Um, and there's a little dot next to them uh, denoting where I can watch them. So gray means that like I own a copy somewhere. Uh, red is Netflix, green is Amazon, black is HBO Go, and blue is DirecTV. Like I have it set, uh, set to record and I'll be able to watch it on, later on DVR. And the little stars are next to the ones that my husband wants to watch with me. The rest I get to watch by myself because he's not a huge fan of like Christmas stuff. I don't know, music and movies and all of that. He is a little bit of a uh, Scrooge, I think, but not too bad. And we're going to enjoy those whenever we get around to them. And since I'm not allowed to show you the Christmas gift spread anymore, you get to enjoy yourselves with this festive cheer. So that's pretty much it. There's not a lot going on as far as like decorations. I don't do die cuts or anything like that. I just sort of have fun with um, the scrapbook paper and I really only got two new scrapbook papers, these two, uh, for this uh, layout. But it's all pretty and red and festive and I'm enjoying that. Uh, I've, I really do like the size of the pocket size. Um, the pocket plus is nice and roomy but something about the compactness of the pocket, like it's not, it's not too narrow. I think it's just perfect for like roughly four or five inserts. Um, and I think that works really well for me. And I really just love a lot about the sort of ambiance, the feel overall of this notebook. So I'm really happy to be back in it. Um, I think it's gonna serve me well over Christmas and hopefully keep me motivated to get some stuff done. Of course, I don't need that motivation probably because there's just a lot of things with uh, Esker closing in two weeks and the Christmas holidays and all that shopping coming up. So a lot of stuff to do, but this will be my companion the whole time. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, sorry, this video is like a week later than I promised it, but uh, hopefully you don't mind too much. And uh, you know, there's so many setup videos at the beginning of every month. You know, it's okay to watch one a week later, right? Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my videos coming up. I do post three times a week and uh, yeah, I appreciate you all, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.